Welcome back to the channel, guys. Sorry I'm a day late with this review, but make sure you smack this video with a like because I'm awesome. And today we are going to discuss good old Elimination Chamber. Yay! So if you're a fan of the Elimination Chamber, also smack this video with a like. And let's get into it. You know what? Honestly, this pay-per-view was an automatically a 5 out of 10. I didn't enjoy it at all. None of the matches to me were good. Not one of them. And you know what? We're going to break down the matches in whatever order I choose to. Because like I said, I don't care about this pay-per-view. I'm only doing it because I promised you guys I'd review it. So, let's kick it off with the pre-show. Rey Mysterio versus The Miz. Decent match. Dominic helped out Rey a lot. Miz tried to pull an Eddie Guerrero moment in one of the matches when Dominic had the chair. But... It didn't really help Miz in the end. Miz still lost. Now Miz is teasing a new tag partner for him to face the Mysterios at WrestleMania. Which, it already got broken out, but it's basically Logan Paul. Yay. So that was a pre-show. Miz versus Mysterio. I'd say I'd give it, like I said, it was an okay match. Now we kick off the Elimination Chamber with the Universal Championship. The Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns versus Oldberg. <clears throat> Time to go on a rant for you guys. How stupid does Goldberg have to be to voluntarily fly over to Saudi Arabia, have this final, have this match finally with Roman Reigns, and get bitched out, essentially? I mean, Vince loves Roman, Vince loves Goldberg. Putting them together doesn't make sense. Because it doesn't matter which way you flip the coin, people like me are going to bitch about it. But the match was okay for what it was. Goldberg hit a couple spears. Roman Reigns did his ooh -ah! And the match ended in Goldberg tapping out to the guillotine chokehold. We hopefully... Goldberg, hopefully Roman Reigns loses at Mania. Because I can't see the Tribal Chief holding the title for another three years. Because nobody, according to Vince, has what it takes to take the title off of Roman. So that was that match. Then we get into the Women's Chamber match. And another small tangent here. I'm going to make a separate video on the Elimination Chamber concept itself. But nobody likes the Chamber matches anymore. They're not scary. Please, stop. And it didn't matter if you brought the Chamber match overseas. It still is a joke. To be honest, the Women's Chamber match, I didn't care about Sorry, I didn't. I didn't care who won or lost in that chamber match. There were no decent spots. It was just lame. All it did was give us a small glimpse of, oh no, Alexa Bliss is going to come back and win. Eh. But we got... Bianca winning the chamber. She's going to WrestleMania. Yay. Not really. 
Then we slide into the Raw Women's Championship match with Big Time Bex versus the Hall of Famer Lita. What to do and what to say about this match. The match was good. I'll give it that. But maybe this is me. Maybe I'm the only one who notices. But Lita looked really, really sluggish in this match. And before all you internet warriors go typing in the comment section, Oh, David, she's old. Yeah, I know. But most other... Returning legends don't look that sluggish unless you're Goldberg. But I digress. Big Bex wins. We get a thank you, Lita, chant at Saudi. I really thought she could have did her last match in the United States. But hey, I digress. And then we get to... Good old Drew McIntyre versus Happy Happy Corbin's assistant in a no disqualification match. Yay! There was one time where ba not Baron Corbin, sorry, where Ro Drew McIntyre was putting mocap moss. On the announcer's table, and the table didn't even break. Really? You flung him over the table, and that was it. I was expecting a table spot there. Nah, didn't get it. And then the stupidest thing in the match was, Oh, I'm gonna swing my sword around. Like an actual weapon. And the ref's like, Oh, well, I can't do anything. It's no disqualification. Yeah, I get that. But I don't know. It was just shit. It was just dumb booking. I'm sorry. Your winner, obviously, Drew McIntyre, is going to set up him versus Happy Corbin at Mania. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. See the theme here, guys, for the whole night? And then we get the supposed SmackDown tag team title match, which wasn't even a title match. See, I went up to go get a drink. And when I came back, they were already talking about the men's chamber. So I pu pull out my trusty phone to go look this up. And all the Usos did was attack the Viking Raiders. And there was no match. That was a waste of a slot, wasn't it? And before we get to the, uh, the men's chamber match, there was only one good match. Thing on the pay-per-view. One good thing. That badass, epic Undertaker tribute video. How is it that's the only good thing out of this entire pay-per-view? Now credit, Undertaker's a badass. He's a legend. He deserves an epic video package. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, if that's your only good thing... You have a problem. And then we get to the men's chamber match. And <sighs> at least the men used the chamber. The women didn't. But the dumbest way you could write off Bobby Lashley was absolutely pathetic. See, I think it was like, it was Austin Theory for, who did he start off with? Yeah, it was Austin Theory versus Seth freaking Rollins to start the match off. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> and Austin Theory gets thrown into Bobby Lashley's pod. The pod breaks. And Lashley just kind of... Uh, slides over like this in the most unimaginative way you could possibly happen and then somehow he has a concussion 
lazy ass writing to ensure yourself a new WWE champion. Which, hey, at least we got our cool chamber pod spot out of the whole thing. Give credit to Austin Theory. The dude was so scared of Lesnar that he, that he almost got out of the pod. <clears throat> I'm in mean the chamber. Dude almost got out of the chamber. But no. Brock being Brock. Pulled him back in. Picked him up. F5'd him off of the pod. Onto the floor. And one, two, three. Your new WWE champion. Brock Lesnar. Which is now title for title at WrestleMania. That's my thoughts on the chamber. <clears throat> like I said, it was bad. It was atrociously bad. I don't know why I watched it. But I'm starting to understand why it is so hard to watch WWE nowadays. Which also means I'm also going to make another video on that too later down the road. So that's enough rambling for me. It's been Dave. Comment down below if you enjoyed the chamber and let me know it, why I suck, apparently. So yeah, if this video does bad, you can just blame me. Have a good day, guys.